Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use the calc function to solve equal to or greater than 4 equations for a nonce using the ABCD method. If you are not familiar with the ABC method, the link is provided in the description below. For or more than 4 equations and 4 anons, it is very important that we will be able to solve for the unknown variables as fast as possible. Now, to do this, we will employ the calc function. Using the calc function will enable us to <clears throat> do repetitive calculations without necessarily writing our solution. When we have less writing, we will be able to answer in a fast manner. Now, <clears throat> I will show you the techniques of using this calc function. Now, by the way, this is the calculator I'm using and <clears throat> for so many reasons and I will not uh, discuss it here. So, I would just like to emphasize that when you press alpha, notice that the that alpha is written with this color. And if you press, if you wanted to uh, <coughs> write the variable A, say for example A, B, C, or D, you simply uh, press alpha, then pr press this key here so that you'll be able to have uh, variable a you, you press uh, alpha then a uh, or you press alpha b alpha c alpha d so on and so forth okay so this is our equation so as you notice this this is a four equation for a non. So what we're going to do first is we will write our coefficients in matrix form. So we have 2, 1, negative 1, 2, and 5. So we also have for this line here we have 4, we have 5, negative 3, 6, and 9 and for the third <coughs> row we have negative 2 5 negative 2 and the next number is 6 and 4 <coughs> we also have 4 for the last row we have 4 and 11 negative 4 8 <clears throat> and 2 so but what we will do now is we will first mark our first column targeting our first pivot element and we also mark this corresponding row here <clears throat> so this is our B and this is our C and our pivot would be RD. The rest of the variables would be RA. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 half. That is our values for the first row. And negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 1 half. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 5 divided by 2 is 5 halves okay so on this column we will simply write zeros so we will be solving for the corresponding values of the next <coughs> okay but first of all we press 
mode 1 to make sure that we're in the right mode. So, this is our A values here. So, to find for the next value here, you simply, huh? but first we will <coughs> write our formula alpha A minus parenthesis B alpha B alpha C divided by alpha D and close parenthesis. And we press the calc function to begin our calculation. So our A here is equal to 5. Press 5 equals, our B is 1. Our C is 4. Our D is 2. Okay, we press 2. It will be, okay, that's it. So we have, the next value would be 3. Next. We'll target this number here and we press calc again and it asks for what is the value for A? It is negative 3. Equals B is negative 1. C is 4. We can opt to press equal since it is already correct. The value is 1. And we have A. We press calc. A is 6. B is 2. C is 4. D is 2. Okay. So we have 2. Next number. 9. Our A is Calc A is 9, B is 5, C is <coughs> 2, okay, C is 4, and D is 2, okay, we have the value of negative 1, okay, for the next line, we'll start with this first number here, so we have, we press that, Calc function A is 5, C, B is 1, C is negative 2, and D is 2. We we'll press enter because it is, we already have the correct value, and we have 6. Okay, for the next calculation, we have calc A is negative 2. B is negative 1, C is 4, D is 2. Okay, so we have next value would be negative 3. Okay, for the next value, we press the calc function again. We have A is 6, B is 2, C is 4. D is 2. <clears throat> By the way, notice that if we already have the correct value for the as variable, we may simply press equal to affirm for our value. Okay. For the next computation, we have mm -hmm, C is negative 2 equals equals. Then we have 9. Okay, that's it. Next, AS calc again, AS 11, B is 5, 1, rather, C is 4, D is 2, the D is 2. By the way, if you commit a mistake, you simply press calc again to redo the calculation. A again, we have 11, A is, A is 11, enter, B is 1, we press enter, this is already 1, C is 4, we, may, we only have value for 4, 
C for the C and D is 2 and the value is when you evaluate the expression the value is equal to 9 next okay we have for the next number A is negative 4 B is negative 1 C is 4 and D is 2 Okay, so our value is negative 2. Next number, A is 8, B is 2, C is 4, and D is 2. Okay, so we have our value of 4. Next, next number, we have A is 2, B is 5, C is 4, and D is 2. Okay, so we have negative 8. I'm already running out of space, so I'm adjusting the size of my handwriting. Okay, we'll mark the second column and the second row targeting our, this number here for our diagonal to make it 1. This is B and this is C and this is our D. Okay, so what we have now, we first divide 3 divided by 3, 1 divided by 3, so on and so forth. But first we will copy this first column here. So we have 1, 0, 0, and 0, and 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1, negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 1 third. 2 divided by 3 is, of course, 2 thirds. And negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 1 third. Okay, we simply write zeros on the remaining spaces for our second column. So we will now target these elements here. So our A. Here would be press calc, A is negative one half equals B is negative one R C is R C is one half and our next value would be two. Okay. Is it really 2? Okay, we will try to review. Okay, A is negative 1 half. Our B is negative 1. C is 1 half. Our D is 3. Okay, so it is negative 1 third. Okay, next, we we'll press the count again. A is 1, B is 2, C is 1 half, and D is 3. We don't want this form, so we'll press this key to have our answer in fractions. We have 2 thirds. Okay, next again we have a is five halves B is negative one C is one half and D is three we don't want this form so we'll press shift and press this and we have a thirds. number we have a is negative 3 we press the count a is negative 3 negative 3 equals b is negative 1 equals c is 
6 ds3 okay we have negative 1 next number we have press the calc function and we have a is 8 8 b is 2 c is hmm? <coughs> 6 and d is 3 and we have value of 4 next number as9 we press the calc function as9 b is negative 1 c is 6 equals 6 okay we'll simply press equals it's already provided correct so we have a value of 11 next number for the last row Press the count function again. <clears throat> count A is negative 2. B is negative 1. Whoops. C is 9. D is 3. Did we commit a mistake? Anyway, we'll just press the count function again to review. A is negative 2. B is negative 1 okay so I'll look right press enter c is 9 okay correct then d is 3 okay that's it so we have 1 next a s 4 press the calc function a s 4 we press 4 equals b s 2 c s 9 d is 3 so next value would be negative 2 i will press this the post later simply because i'm running out of space i will adjust the paper okay continuing we have b is negative 1 c is 9 and d is 3 and our final answer for the abcd is we see for me is negative 5 okay that's it next third column and third row to target the diagonal element so in order for us to make this value here equal to 1 we simply divide this with this number so we have oh <clears throat> by the way we'll first copy the first two columns one zero 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 one zero zero and we we'll start with here negative one divided by negative one is one four divided by negative one is negative four and eleven divided by negative one is eleven okay so for this column here we'll write zero for the other elements and we will simply compute for the next values for these elements so we have first row a is two-thirds <clears throat> two-thirds b is it must be four we press four equals c is negative one third e oops i pressed the wrong key uh, no no problem we'll simply press count again so we have a is two-thirds the value provided is already correct okay you simply press equals b is four equals c is c must be negative one third negative one third equals and d is negative one equals so 
the answer is negative two thirds. Okay, next. Press the calc function again. Calc. A is eight over three. B is eleven. C is negative one third. Okay, equals correct. Okay, equals. So our value is negative one. Next number. Second row. First element of the unknowns. E is two thirds. Two thirds. Two thirds equals B is four. C is negative one third. Okay, we may simply press equals because we already have the correct value provided. And D is negative one. Okay, we have negative two thirds. Okay, let me write the negative two thirds first. And in the next value, calc again. A is negative one third. Negative one third. Equals B is eleven. Eleven equals B is negative. Or C rather, negative one third. D is negative one, and our value is negative four. Okay, we're almost finished. Calc again. A is negative two. B is four. C is one, and R D is negative one. Okay, we have two. And count again. Negative five. B is eleven. C is one. D is negative one. Okay, we have a value of six. Okay, by the way, if you notice we have less writing for our solution we provided directly the answers now when you are already a master of this method then you will be able to solve this very very rapidly Okay, so we have 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So we now target our last 5 volt element. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so we'll simply write zeros for the next, for the rest of this column here. So we have 0, 0, and 0. So we'll compute for these values here. For these elements here, we'll press the count function again. A is negative one. B is six. C is negative two thirds. Negative two thirds. D is 2 equals so value is equal to 1 next we have A is count again negative 4 B is 6 C is negative 2 thirds it is provided just press enter or equals rather and our D is uh, 2 and equals we have value of negative 2 last we have a is negative 11 b is 6 c is negative 4 and d is 2 just press equals and there we have it 
we now have our unknown variables x, y, z. x equals to 1, y equals to negative 2. z equal to 1 and w equal to 3 okay so this is our final answer if you notice we have less writing for the solution and we have directly our we have directly written our computations. <clears throat> if you like the content of this video, click like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. And by the way, if you may, please leave a comment. Thank you very much.